All right, hey guys, we are gearing up here for another shootout hole. Now, with the Thor's hammer, the best approach with a headwind like this is going to play it, uh, you know, max club, a little bit into it. Uh, like, I'm, I might play this uh, 1.5 per ring here. So, uh, you know, maybe six rings here will be pretty good. And notice how I'm putting this on the green here. I like that to be my uh, kind of my target line for the most part. And uh, like I mentioned, about six rings here. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't come up short. Uh, in addition to that, since the wind's pointed that direction, you're going to see me go with that some extra curl as well. Uh, that great ball to the right isn't necessarily left isn't necessarily going to make this any closer so you're going to see me come up a little short here it ends up taking a little bit too much of the hill it makes it hard to hit it in there tight when you do that but notice when you are straight into the wind on this hole the biggest thing for you to consider is the fact that uh you need to go extra rings because uh a couple reasons um you know, you're going towards max club for, for the first biggest reason, but also the, on top of that is, uh, you know, where you see the shot trail, it's not going to make it that far. It's going to, you know, come up about four or five yards short of that because those bounces are going to be changing. So, uh, you know, you always got to go like a couple extra rings. And like I said, I, use, I like to use like 1.5 as my... Um, I like to use, uh, and that's uh, Cam from the the T box there. His uh, guest account that he's playing under right now. Um, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. But if you guys haven't checked out his channel, feel free to do so. It's uh, the T box. Um, he has kind of you know his own unique style to the way that he plays. So uh, if you haven't checked out his stuff, uh, I I would definitely encourage at least you know checking out, getting a feel for it, see it if you like what he does. And if you do, subscribe to his channel. Um, but aside from that, um, I'm going to keep posting some Tour 11 shootouts for you guys. Um, and keep in mind what I was just mentioning about that shot. Uh, when you have headwind like that, um, always, you know, play more your max club distance for sure. But uh, on top of that, you know, think about the way that the wind's going to affect the ball. So since it was pointed a little left there, you see me, you know, put a decent amount of curl on the ball. And, of course, I great ball to left, which cost me a couple yards because when you do that, it lands a little bit more left. That second hop really hits a lot more slope. So you want to try to avoid that at, at, at all costs. You want to be pretty precise when you're doing that, uh, you know. And you can, you can, you know, butcher that shot if you're not very careful. So uh, definitely be careful and, you know, when, when you get it straight into the wind like that, you don't have to go at it full backspin. You can take off, you know, half a bar. I didn't do that there, but uh, I was half tempted to. Usually when it, once it starts getting into the 10s, 10, 12, that's, that's when I start, no matter what, taking off a little bit of that uh, backspin on Max Thor. So keep that in mind. I'll be posting some more shootouts for you guys, so good luck.